Hi everybody, this is uh, Gat Saad. We are quickly approaching a federal election in Canada, and so I thought it was apropos for me to update uh, my uh, views on our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. First, I'd like to share with you my opinion of him uh, from several years ago. This is from a show that I had appeared on, uh, the Gareth Cliff Show. Uh, he's a South African, where he had asked me about Justin Trudeau, and this is what I had said. Quote, Justin Trudeau is an utter disaster on many, many fronts. And I say this not to be disrespectful, not to be bombastic in any way, but I genuinely mean it when I say the following. If I were to take in my 23-year professorial career the absolute dumbest undergraduate student that I've ever had, that student would be approximately 100 times smarter than Justin Trudeau. This is a guy who, until he was 40-something, his biggest claim to fame was that he was a snowboarder and a substitute drama teacher. And now he is the leader of one of the most important Western countries in the world. He's never uttered a syllable, not one syllable, that wasn't a grotesque platitude of stupidity. Close quote. As you can see, I was trying to be gentle and uh, measured with my words. Uh... I'd like to update my uh, views on Justin Trudeau. So when I say, if I were to take in my 23-year professorial career, I'd like to update that. It's now my 27-plus-year professorial career, and I'd like to update something else. If I were to take in my 27-plus-year professorial career, the absolute dumbest undergraduate student that I've ever had, that student would be approximately... 100 times smarter than Justin Trudeau. I'd like to update that to 1,000 times smarter than Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau is a walking manifestation of every single one of the idea pathogens that I describe in the parasitic mind. If you care about individual dignity rather than tribal politics, then you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you care about science rather than my truth of postmodernism, you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you care about science rather than and meritocracy rather than diversity, inclusion and equity where you are where you obtain scientific grants and scientific titles based on what your immutable characteristics are or your identity is rather than on the merits of your scientific dossier, you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you think that women menstruate rather than people menstruate, you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you think that someone should be, a prime minister should be using words like she covery for recovery and she session rather than recession because he is putting those words in the context of the feminine, therefore she covery and she session. This is not me making this stuff up as satire. Go look up those clips you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you believe that a country shouldn't be led by a feminist foreign policy, but rather by a foreign policy that maximizes a country's best interest, you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. I only got through roughly 1% of the reasons of why you shouldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. I'm hardly suggesting that the other candidates uh, are wonderful saviors of Canada. But there comes a point where you've now sampled enough information to decide whether having beautiful hair, being a vacuous blowhard who truly speaks like a woke, somewhat developmentally challenged juvenile adolescent, whether that is someone that you should be again casting your vote for. Maybe if we vote for him a third time, he'll suddenly be Einstein and Churchill wrapped into one. So, you know, I, I speak to a lot of people. A lot of people stop me on the street to say hello. They're all very nice. And, you know, we, at times we talk about politics. It's just, it's soul crushing to see how poorly informed people are about politics. And so they say, well, you know, I'm a liberal person. And, you know, this is the liberal party. And he seems like a, you know, harmless guy who wears cool socks. And he's you know, he's good looking, he's sweet. So, you know, who am I going to vote for? Who else am I going to vote for? When you vote, 
here's what you should do. Think about the three, four, five issues that are most fundamental to you, and then look at the parties and decide whether each of the parties in question, which one comes closest to adhering to your preferred issues. So for example, if you care about science then and meritocracy, then you can't vote for Justin Trudeau, right? Because he is all about diversity, inclusion, and equity everywhere. Everything is driven by that. If you care about individual dignity, Martin Luther King, judge people by the merits of their characters rather than by the color of their skins or whether they're transgender or whether they're Muslim or whether they are, uh, you know, gay or and the rest of it, uh, then you couldn't be voting for Justin Trudeau. If you care about a, a, a sensible immigration policy where Canadian value, values will still reign, you can't be voting for Justin Trudeau because Justin Trudeau is all about letting in open borders and letting in all sorts of people, many of whom are lovely, many of whom are not lovely. So there are, I could probably spend the next five hours enumerating other reasons why Justin Trudeau is not the right guy. I, and again, yes, of course, I'm Canadian, so I have a vested interest in this issue. But it's not that I have a personal antipathy towards Justin Trudeau because he's got nicer hair than I do, although that's debatable. It's because he truly represents all of the cancerous, parasitic, pathogenic ideas that are anti-liberal, secular societies. Enlightened societies would never support someone who espouses the nonsense that this buffoon does. So there you have it. I try to be as restrained as possible. You have a choice in a few weeks to either continue down the path of this juvenile woke buffoon or perhaps take another uh, route. And by the way, I'm again not suggesting that the other ones are fantastic, nor that many of their platforms are good, but there comes a point where you have to say, I've tried this, maybe it's time to look for something else. Take care, everybody. Cheers.